this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. And look at this! An empty lovely world! No silly mini game to play at the beginning of the video. I thought that sometimes it takes a little bit long uh, for us to begin doing whatever we're supposed to be doing that day. So for a little bit, uh, I think we're going to skip the game. And it's nice just to see the empty landscape of Stampy's lovely world. And it's also always nice to see Liebe! And where, 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 where are you coming from, Liebe? This, is, this isn't how things normally go. This, this is ever so slightly different. I'm not sure if I can handle it. <laughs> there we go. You know that I always like to see you coming out of the painting. And Lee Bear is here as well. And if you're feeling good today, Lee, then try and catch this egg. Okay? You ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Catch the egg. Yay! You caught it. Excellent. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, you got an egg for breakfast. A smashed egg, which I threw at you. And for breakfast, I am going to go and get a cake. Please don't throw it at me, though. Please place it on the ground. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. Nom. There we go. The whole cake down in one. And because we're not playing any games, let's head straight over to the uh, the love garden then, shall we? And see who we are going to be adding to it today. And in fact, uh, we're not adding one person to the love garden today. We are adding three people to the love garden today. And those three people are Miranda, Anya, and Dimitri. And the reason I'm adding them is because they sent me a picture of them with some amazing face paint on. And you can see that one of them has their face painted like Squid Nugget. One has their face painted like me. And of course my favourite uh, is the one with their face painted <laughs> as if they are a big cake. And I think it's amazing. Uh, so I wanted to say thank you very much for sending me the picture. And welcome to my love garden. Anyway, let's go now and uh, head to the dog house first to pick a dog and then we are going to be going to the fun land to play my brand new mini game which is called take the tooth and uh, yeah we've never played it before well we we kind of played it in the last episode we had a bit of a practice go uh, but it's changed a little bit since then so this is going to be the first take the tooth tournament and i'm going to be doing that joined by barnaby seeing as you immediately turned around as i jumped in uh, you can come and join us barnaby and sadly uh, you're not going to be able to play. I tried playing it with dogs and... Oh, <laughs> Lee's there waiting very patiently. You don't see that very often, do you? <laughs> oh, Barnaby went to say hello to Lee. It's nice to see that Lee is finally getting on with my dogs. Look at that. You can see how good friends Lee and Barnaby are together. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, dogs can't play the game. We tried to do it, but instead of carefully creeping and jumping over all the creaky floorboards in the game, they just sort of run straight over it. They don't have very much finesse. So <laughs> they, unfortunately, uh, are not able to play the game. But there is someone else uh, that is going to be joining us and playing the game with us and that person uh, has no idea uh, that we're about to ask them to join us and that person is sitting right there you can just about see her it's the tooth fairy Seeing as this is a tooth themed game, and it's basically themed around the fact uh, that the uh, the tooth fairy's working here in my dentist rather than collecting teeth, we're basically doing the job of the tooth fairy uh, because she is too busy working in the dentist. That's what the idea of the game is. Uh, so yeah, we thought it might be a good idea to ask the tooth fairy to join us in the game. So, um, excuse me, uh, tooth fairy, I uh, hope you're not too busy, uh, but we were just wondering, do you want to come to the, uh, the fun land with us to play a tooth themed mini game, yes? And, um... There seems to be a tooth just sitting on your desk. Is there is there a place for these teeth or do they just sit there? <laughs> I guess the place for the teeth is in people's mouths, I would assume. So anyway, uh, Lee and uh, the uh, the tooth fairy uh, can come and join us. Oh, what does this say down here? Uh, oh, this is the tooth drawer. Oh, that's where the teeth go in the tooth drawer. <laughs> okay, well, you, you can put the tooth away uh, because we are only playing with fake teeth in this game. <laughs> and so originally I was going to have it. Uh, that once you jump across, uh, you put some money in a chest and then take the tooth. Uh, I decided just not to do that because I, I don't think it, it mattered. I think it's more fun uh, just trying to jump and get to the bed. That's the challenge. You're going to get to the bed uh, without waking up the child. Uh, but I did add a, a few item frames uh, which have some, some teeth in just to make it look like uh, they have put a tooth under their pillow or floating above their pillow in this case. But <laughs> it's about as close as I could do in Minecraft. So yeah, as I said, uh, I did make uh, one or two additions. Uh, the game is pretty much the, uh, the same as it was. Uh, the only only uh, real difference uh, is the fact that I changed the layout uh, of some of the uh, the pressure plates. Uh, I made the easy one uh, a bit harder. I made the medium one uh, just a little bit different, and I made the harder one even harder. So yeah, it's going to be very difficult for any of us to do the hard one. But who knows? If any of us do manage to successfully get across the hard one, then that will be amazing. And here we go. Here is the take the tooth mini game. <laughs> you can see I added some big T's on top of it as well. And so the way this is going to work, uh, we're going to take turns going. 
and uh, we're going to have a maximum of three attempts each and whoever uh, manages to jump across them uh, in the least attempts overall, including all three, uh, is going to be the winner and pick a different game in my fun land for us all to play. So Lee, uh, you seem to be very eager. So <laughs> um, he's there just uh, training. He's warming up first. It's very important to warm up and stretch. Oh, he's going. Oh, no, Lee. He tried to be clever and sprint straight over. So that's one attempt down for Lee on the easy one. You might want to take your time a little bit more than that. No, he's not, though. He's just diving straight across. And he did it! He managed to do it on his second attempt! That was very impressively, very impressive. Um, right then, Two Fairy, uh, looks like you're going up next. Sadly, you have to try and follow that performance, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to beat. Two attempts isn't bad, and she's there running over. Oh, that's a big jump! I don't know! She hit it! She set it off. She tried to do what Lee did, uh, but she accidentally uh, set off one of the uh, the pressure plates. But that's okay, uh, because if you do it in this attempt to Fairy, uh, then you're going to be drawing with Lee, and that is uh, just fine. Seen as Lee has played before, and the two Fairy had never played the game before. So take it away and wait, wait a minute. Two Fairy, two Fairy, come on. That Come back here, two Fairy. That's cheating. We all know that you can fly because you're a Fairy, and that's very impressive, but that's cheating in the game. I suppose that's what she normally does. Normally she doesn't have to worry about creaky floorboards because when she's uh, going to try and take people's teeth uh, She normally just flies in through the uh, the window So this time you need to do it without flying too fairy You need to jump across and oh no she hit one she hit one that technique must be really good though jumping across that side I'm sorry too fairy you've got one more final attempt uh, to try and get across so this is it, Two Fairy. It's all or nothing. If you fail this one, uh, then sadly you get two uh, attempts ticked off and uh, then you won't actually be able to complete it. She's really getting a very big run up now and she jumps and oh no, she set it off again. Not a good performance from the Two Fairy. So that's going to count as four attempts uh, for her overall uh, because she wasn't able to complete it. And so Lee had two attempts on this one. Uh, two Fairy counts as if she had four, but now it's my go, right? I'm not going to go crazy. I am going to take my time and do what I did last time. Uh, the route has changed a little bit to make it a bit more difficult, but I can edge my way around here. And this is where it starts to get tough. There's pressure plates everywhere. And if I jump to here, well, this was good. And there we go. I managed to do it in just one attempt. Slow and steady wins the tooth. <laughs> right now, let me go and jump my way back. And oh, look, I didn't even set any off on my way back. Oh, yes, I did on the last one. Right, but the me easy one doesn't matter anymore. This is where it's going to get very interesting. This is the medium one. And the medium one is much harder than the easy one. And Lee's there deciding the route. You can hear the cogs turning in his head as he's trying to pick the best way to go. And that was a good safe jump. He's now trying to pick where to go next. And ooh, he very nearly hit one, but he just about made it. He's about halfway through the, the corridor now. Is he going to be able to get to the bed? Oh, and another good job. Uh, jump. That was a good start from Lee. Oh, he's so close. I think one or two jumps away from the bed. I think if he does a big jump, he did it in just one attempt. That was absolutely amazing, Lee. Well done, Lee. Big round of applause. You can come back now. And look, he's not even setting any off on his way back. Oh, he hit one just at the end. <laughs> okay, Two Fairy. Once again, no flying, please. Jumpy jumps only. <laughs> you got legs for a reason. You need to try and jump and uh, get to the bed without setting any off. Once again, uh, it's going to be difficult uh, for her to follow Lee, seen as he did so amazing. But that was a good a good first jump from the two fairy. And whoa! A very big jump all the way to the wall over there. It looks like she's going for a different route. She hasn't tried to copy Lee. It looks like she's trying to do it in her own style and is doing very well here. She's got almost to the end and she did it! She got all the way to the end in just one attempt as well. So Lee uh, is still winning uh, on the uh, against the, the Two Fairy uh, because of how well he did on the first go, but the Two Fairy uh, has given herself a chance to get back in this game. Right, looks like the, uh, the pressure's on me then. Which way shall I go? Let me go and jump down to this one first. Okay, that was okay. Then jump to here. Still haven't set anything off. Where shall I go to? Let's go down here to the right, I think. If I go to here... Very good. Then if I go to here and then on the bed, yes! Yes, 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 yes! I've not set any off the entire time yet, which means I am still in the lead. <laughs> right, so let me go and head back now. 
I don't care about hitting any on the way back. We are now on the final one, and this is the hard one, and it's called the hard one for a reason. Look how many pressure plates and trip wires there are all over the place here. Step back to Ferry, give Lee some room. He's going to have to go for a big run up, and he's going for a big job. And oh no, the very first pressure plate he hit. Not a good start from Lee. This is why this is the hardest one of the Take the Tooth mini game. And he's going for the same route. No, no, he did the exact same thing again. He hit that very first pressure plate. Lee. This is your final attempt of the entire go. I suggest you take your time and stretch your legs. And there we go. He's decided to change his route. Uh, a sad thing for Lee is that we can all learn from his mistakes and try and look what works for him. And oh no, he set one off again. That is going to count as two failed attempts because he didn't manage to complete the hard one. And so now then, Two Fairy, you can win this. You could win this. If you do a perfect run, you could beat Lee. But oh no, she set one off. The Two Fairy set one off on her first jump. So come back again. You got two more attempts to try and complete the hard one. She's there trying to decide which route to go. That was a good first jump. You can see that it's very difficult even from your very first job. And oh no, she set one off here. Okay, Two Fairy, this is now your final attempt on the game. Are you going to be able to make it across? And whoa, she went really fast. I think that actually helped her. It might actually be easier to go fast. Look how far she's got. She's got almost to the end. And oh no, she set it off. She was so close. She was so very, very close. But she just set one off at the end. She's not going to be happy about that. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, but it's still going to be close for second place between Lee and the Two Fairy. And it's my go coming up next. I think if I at least to make it once then I should be able to win the first ever take the tooth tournament so I am going to take it slow and steady that's what I do best right oh no maybe not maybe that didn't work <laughs> that is a one failed attempt for me right let me try this again I think I need to jump a bit further there we go no I set it off again I don't know which one I'm hitting I must be hitting one behind me that was two failed attempts come on I can do this I really want to try and complete this hard one big run up and jump did I do it no I set it off again oh no I did absolutely awful on this hard one but it's time to now add up the scores and see who was in first second and third place so Lee had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attempts overall. Let me just check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven attempts. And then I had one, two, three, four, five attempts, which means I'm ahead of Lee. And then the two fairy had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attempts, which means I was in first place and then Lee was in second. And sadly, the two fairy was in last place. Did you have fun though? Wasn't this a nice break from working in the dentist to go and play a tooth game? <laughs> and I'm sure she's going to be here every night training to try and get even better. I guess this is why you have wings so you can fly over and avoid everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go and very quickly run to bed. Uh, there are some beds down here uh, because this isn't the end of the video. We have another mini game to play. Seen uh, as I won, uh, I get to decide which game we're going to play. And I want to play a game uh, that we haven't played uh, in quite a, a long time. So uh, the game I want us to play is Berry Berry. And uh, it's right over here. If you want to come this way to Fairy, uh, you can come and follow me uh, to Fairy. Two Fairy, it's this the morning. Oh, are you still upset because you lost? Look, come, come follow me, Two Fairy. Come follow me, and I will show you where the the next game is that we're we're going to play. And the way Berry Berry works is there's two teams. Uh, we basically need to go into our side and we need to try and bury as many berries as we can. And then once you've buried all of your berries, you press a button and then the other team has five seconds to finish off burying theirs. Then you switch sides and it's the first person to find all five of the other person's berries wins. And uh, because there are three of us, I think what we're going to do is I am going to team up with Barnaby. So it's going to be me and Barnaby against Lee and the two fairy. So uh, I'm going to go into this side down here. Uh, you guys can go opposite and uh, oh there's all sorts of random stuff okay ignore the chest ignore the chest they're not supposed to be there yeah so once you get all the berries you've got to come out here and place them in a row along these fences and then you win so don't start yet i'm gonna say three two one and then we begin barnaby you're gonna come and join me you're supposed to be in my side come on barnaby there we go right we can begin burying in three two one go so first before we bury i need to go and try and break all of the berries off the tree so you're not allowed to use any tools by the way no shovels no shears or anything you can only use your hands in this game so there we go i've broke off all five of my berries and now i need to go and start trying to bury them so i can put this one down here i'm going to go and put this one down here and the trick is to try and find sneaky places to hide your berries uh, that the other people would not expect and then if you have time 
Afterwards as well, you can start just breaking random pieces of dirt uh, to make them think that you've hid a berry there, even though you haven't. So there we go, here are my uh, five berries hidden, and uh, now I'm just going to go and start breaking away some of the uh, the other dirt, uh, so that, that way it's going to, to trick them. They're going to see the broken dirt, and they might think that that is where the, the other berries are hidden. So let's go and break away some of this dirt down here, and break away some of this dirt down here, and then down here as well, break away some of this dirt, and then some down here as well. And oh, I need to fill this in here, I think, and break some dirt down here and down here and then I'm going to press the button which means we now both only have five seconds left then we need to switch sides and try and find all of the berries in the other person's side so that was five seconds we now need to switch sides so you guys need to leave your side and run over to my side now and there's Lee dashing come on two fairy you need to do the same and look see they've been doing the exact same so what I want to do is try and see where all of the dirt is and try and find some er berries underneath them and I want to do this as quick as I can because the grass is going to start spreading and uh, it's basically basically going to, to cover up where they are. And I think I found a few already. I found a few already before digging them up. I'm going to go and try and break away the rest of the dirt to see if I can find some more. I think I found two of them so far, but the others I might just have to dig around to try and find. And oh no, look, there's some, some dirt down here I can break away. No berries though. Any berries under this one? Nope, no berries under there either. So uh, how many have I got? I got one down here. I can go and try and grab this one. I think there was one down here somewhere. Uh, no, not down there. Was it down here? Here we go. Next to the bench, uh, there's another berry down there. So I now have two out of five. So let's look around uh, where there was other broken dirt, uh, dirt, and I can see if I can find any down here. Remember, you're not allowed to use shovels. You're only allowed to dig with your hands. And here we go. I found another berry down here. I need you to help me, Barnaby. I need you to go and try and sniff out the berries if you can. <laughs> I got three out of five. I only need two more, and I might be able to do it. It's going to be difficult because there is two of them. So they're going to be able to dig even quicker, and I'm just waiting waiting for them for any second just to run in here to start celebrating that they've won. Come on, just two more. Two more. I can do this. There's got to be one down here. There's lots of broken dirt around here. I reckon there might be one down around here somewhere. Come on, just two more berries. Just two more berries. I need your help, Barnaby. Come on, you're a dog. Dogs are supposed to be good at digging. You can start digging some up and try and help me find them. No, I'll not find any down here. I'm just panicking now. I'm just panicking. Just breaking dirt randomly all over the place to try and find as many as I can. No berries down around here? Nope, I don't think so. What about down here? Sometimes it's good to be sneaky uh, to hide them all in kind of the same area. So they might have done that. Actually, I've not really uh, dug around the tree very much. There might be some more around the tree. Let's dig around uh, where the tree is. That's uh, often a, a good sneaky hiding place where people hide it. None around there. Or maybe by the button. People often hide it around down by the button. Nope, but there's not any down there. It seems like I'm struggling, but they're obviously struggling just as much as me because they uh, have not run up here. I'm just going to end up digging up the entire ground here <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to, to find any. And I still got two more to, to get as well. I still got two more uh, that I need to find. Let's have a look around uh, some of these uh, benches to see if I can find some down here. And careful, Barnaby, I nearly hit you on the the end of your nose down there. And uh, what about down in this corner down here? What about looking in the, the very corners? A lot of people try and hide it. And oh no, I think they've done it. I think they have gone and got all of their berries. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. They found the berries. Right, where, where were the last two? Can you can you remember where the, the last two berries were? Uh, I couldn't find them absolutely anywhere. Uh, let, let's, let's, let's try and find them. Let's just see if we can find out where the last berries were. Let's see uh, if I was if I was close. Were there some more down here? Ah, there's one down on the wall down there. Was the other one down here? So, and the other one was down here. I was so close. I was so close to finding both of them, but sadly, uh, I didn't win. But this is good, though. I won the Take the Tooth game, but Lee and the Tooth Fairy together uh, won the Berry Berry game, and it uh, looks like uh, they're being very good and putting all of the, uh, the berries back up on the, uh, the tree as well. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go put all the, the berries back up here on the tree. Anyway! We have sadly uh, just about run out of time in this episode here, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing us playing the Take the Tooth game, and I'm sure at some point in the future uh, we're going to be going back to it and uh, playing it again, and hopefully one time uh, we are going to actually be able to complete the hard corridor. <laughs> it was definitely very hard. Uh, but as I said, that's the end of this episode here. There'll be a link in the description to the next episode in my lovely world once it's online, but for now I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!